jungle as well. I want to see Nico. Now going to go into the mid lane in the hands Neat of Nemesis. Lane. We had heard all about the bot lane, Nico. Everyone so, just off a single item, she does a lot of early game damage. Oh, now we're going to see the level one play coming out for Ram. Of course, incredibly strong in that level one. The stun already coming in from the concussive blows. Now Mystique is in trouble. The flash forward, first blood for Reckless's vein. They're going to look for another one as well. The blast cone sets up over the wall, but they just get packed along with them. Kadrill going to need to get through the gate. Are they going to commit the flash for it? Pushed into the tower a lot early on, and that's why this huge CS discrepancy is starting to develop. We're taking a lot of damage here, though, just to walk under tower. Now they're going to fish for the die, though, as Brox is here, but we're going to heal up as much as he can with the Cold of Meek. Oh! Goes down in the end! Caster minions and the cannon, the ultimate homies, and Brox has to be careful. He's out auto attacks. Is looking down the worst situation possible, but now they're trying to change that. Bot lane coming through. Reckless now on the back end of a bad tray. Looks like he will get taken down here. The heal does come out. Jeskla could just get stunned up here. The auto's coming in. Reckless is still alive. I cannot believe it. He is going to go down in the end. Jeskla on the edge of death. Hill is saying. Gonna get that one, and that is the second what kill. You can do about it. So he's just gonna kind of suck it up. Me and Malbuth were expect continuing to trade up towards the top side. Ooh, now the fight now comes in the stun right into the turret. Jesko taken down. Mystique's gonna be in trouble here. Level five, no ultimate there to save the day. Hillisang goes down in the end to make it a two for one. But Fnatic the advantage now. But Kajal looking for something up top. Oh, expecting to be forced to use the ulti here. Karthus will proc it. Whippo now needs to make a decision. Kajal's coming in on the backside. He's going to need to dodge the ulti, but no chance. Perfect use of the animation cancel from Kajal to land the point blank ulti to keep his top laner alive. Rox are now going to make his way to the bottom side. Top lane continues to be a point of action. We've got to keep our eyes on Jeskla. Mystique's looking for the stun. Hillisang perfectly tanking here off to the side. They've taken down the AD carry once again. No chance for rest from Jeskla in this game. Surprised that they can pull off so many dives so successfully. Uh, no support is coming out from the side of XL. Kadrill is just trying to uh, play towards the top side of the map because he has no pressure in the mid lane. It enables Fnatic to constantly get vision towards the bot side, and that means that Jesper and Mystique, they're just pretty much left to their own devices. And when that happens, Fnatic constantly capitalize. And it's doubly good for Fnatic in this game, although Mystique now looks like he might get just taken down here. Yeah, Brock's gonna go. The killing spree there, taking down the cow, just absolute domination on the bottom side of the map continues to be the story. And when you look at Excel's game yesterday, they want to use the Herald to break down this tower plating before it expires. We'll get a hefty chunk of gold put back to their pockets, but Fnatic have already read the play and are going to continue forward as special. This is absolutely chunked out in the mid lane. Nemesis forced to retreat as Expect shows up, and he was the player I wanted to talk about next. But it seems I won't have time as Excel are continuing this push in the bot lane. Whippo doing what he can to hold on to this tower. If they come in for the dive, though, Hillisang is here, has his ultimate up and available in just a few seconds. Whippo taking down the Herald. The second tower will not fall in favor of Excel as Reckless is getting solo gold. Two tower blades already going over to him. 320 in his back pocket. Oh, a third one too. Vettius, this vein is getting so fed so quickly. Excel are going to commit for the play. Hillisang now throwing down the ultimate, trying desperately to this game. Whippo has so much health here. Conqueror has now been activated. The healing fully online. Expect here desperate to get something back. There's the card that's ultimate, and there is no hope left. Just deleting members, making it a one for one as Whippo finally falls. Considering XL's committed four members to send, uh, get that dive, the fact that Fnatic found a one for one, oh, oh, might even be two for one. <laughs> Typically, you just want to power farm, you just want to get to those uh, core item spikes and just get as much gold as possible. But that's back with some towers of their own, but most likely are poised to give up this bot tier two as the teleport has now been committed from Whippo. I think he's going to take the fight here. Of course, Cadrill with the ultimate available can threaten. Reckless taking a lot of damage there, but once again, the Karthus ulti being available does make it a lot harder to commit to these big plays. So Reckless has the red buff and he has spell uh, lifesteal rather. So I think he intentionally took the damage to keep the minions alive there so that Fnatic could continue the siege. Uh, I actually like this thing. I like it. <laughs> that does help a lot against Nico. Uh, ooh, ooh, Reckless. Looking for the big plays. Brox is desperate to steal the glory away, and he is going to do so. <laughs> Alistair will quickly sneak into the corpse of Callista before <laughs> running for his life. The last dying wish of oh, just no. the... Nico. Special now trying to buy time, but Brox is here as well. Now that Hillisang with a shot over the wall, Special goes back. And they're just going to delete that Zoe. Nemesis almost finding it's a solo. Fnatic. Oh, absolutely. Uh, given that they are the best performing team so far in the second half of the split. I mean, stats, I, was, I forgot that, because attacking a champion breaks it, right? Auto attacking a I champion. I think so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was going to say, could you, if like you could choose like an Ari's auto attack Ooh. animation. Hold that thought, we're going to get the fight kicked off. Cable doing his best to disrupt, but he immediately gets deleted. Whippo buying as much time as he can, but so far it's the one for one. Mystique's looking for the flank on the backside, but Reckless just tearing through that health bar. True damage. He doesn't care about that damage reduction. Expect next on the list. That's a triple for Reckless. Where's the Penta gonna go? Proxy says, I'm gonna try to take this one away from try you. And find a fight, but unfortunately, it did not quite go their way. And the fight has to go perfectly because it is 23 minutes into the game. Fnatic moving their gold lead up higher. They're waiting 
for their teammate oh, right now. Here comes Vayne number two. Huge movement to Sarah on the shapeshifter. Whippo's on the backside as well. That is going to be one dead Callista. Cadrill just next on the menu. His health bar is irrelevant to this Fnatic lineup. They're going to break through the tier two. They're right. going to look to break through the base. Expect doing what he can to get something back, but there is not going to be anything that can stop this Fnatic lineup. Uh, crikey, that was one big croc that came in from behind. And unfortunately for XL, they didn't have the training to handle it. Fnatic find the class. They're going to find an inhibitor. They may even find the game. Daniel Dracos. That's a sleepy Braum ready to block some skill shots. Slow but surely Fnatic are breaking through the base. Excel looking to find the upset. Now looking to just be a speed bump on Fnatic's path to playoffs. Nemesis firing back. Karthus ulti now coming in. But did not... Ooh, did oh, target yes, expect did. the animation <laughs> looking a little weird there. That's going to be the win for Fnatic as they move closer to their playoff goals. Great level one from Fnatic. Really set the stage. The moment that Reckless got that first blood, both solo laners were abandoned and Broxa just said, all right, I guess we'll count this lane. It's kind of like pick a card, you know, where do you want to go? <laughs> Once you get a first blood on the vein, it suddenly becomes an option. More ways to play, of course. Papa Youngbuck there in the back, often praised for his level ones on the team. Now seeing some of those come to light. And you got to feel, you do not expect to get invaded by the Karthus at level one. You expect him to be the safe jungler. Frustration on the face of Expect. Even though uh, XL cannot qualify for play. Oh, now he's smiling. <laughs> I'm getting very mixed reactions right now from Expect. It's an emotional roller coaster. I think we've all, you know, he looks at that game and he goes, I played my lane, I was set up for success, and I and I kind of, he found that success to a certain Maybe point. he wishes he could have done more. Uh, yeah. That is a common mentality that many of our pro players have. But uh, overall, I do think Expect has had a very solid split, but it was always going to be an uphill struggle. Fnatic have only